top dressing um, uh, is something that we do over the top of corn after it's uh, up and typically somewhere between uh, knee high and, and waist high would be uh, uh, typically when, when we do that. And we do that to um, try to split our nitrogen application so we put out uh, smaller rates and not a large uh, rate all at once uh, because of the agronomic and environmental advantages of, of split nitrogen. New data shows that the latest hybrids take up uh, about 50% of their sulfur in the sulfate form later on in the season. As compared to nitrogen, uh, where about 35% of the nitrogen is taken up uh, later in the season. So you can see that as a top dress, side dress application, sulfur is very important for the uh, growth and development of corn. And uh, incidentally, it is required that the sulfur be in the sulfate form because that's what plants take up exclusively. Their sulfur needs to be in the sulfate form for it to be uh, available for use. When we're talking about corn fertilization and specifically about nitrogen and sulfur, it's important as your overall strategy to apply some of the nitrogen and sulfur early on in the season for that early growth and development, but also later on in, in its development because pretty much throughout the development of a, of a crop, including corn, it needs nitrogen early as well as uh, later on in development through the grain fill period. It's quite important because with that splitting, you limit the losses of both the nitrogen and the sulfur because you have less uh, nutrient uh, available for those loss mechanisms. And if you have a rainy period especially, those loss mechanisms due to uh, runoff, uh, leaching, or denitrification come into play. And to decrease the risk of nutrient loss, you want to split that application in more than uh, one application so you uh, decrease the losses and you increase the chance for nutrient uptake. And when you uh, limit nutrient losses, you also have the pot potential to increase your yield. When you increase your yield, then you're going to have more uh, potential income and net profitability back to the grower, which of course is, is the grower's objective. So the, the environmental uh, objective of decreasing the, the losses is coupled beautifully with the economic advantages of having higher yield and nutrient uptake, which is why that splitting of the nitrogen, some early and some late, can pay dividends both from an environmental standpoint as well as a grower profitability standpoint. And with split applications of uh, top dress uh, fertilizer and plant food over uh, especially corn as we're talking about here, we now have better equipment, more nimble equipment, and higher clearance equipment that allows us a greater window of application out there, which we didn't historically have, uh, let's say, 30, 40 years ago or more. Today we have high clearance uh, rigs that are available and very efficient and they give us the opportunity to put nutrient on over the top of a growing crop and we can still get that uh, nutrient application uh, down and in place where we need it. When we top dress or side dress corn, one of the uh, initial concerns by a grower and a lot of people in the industry is the phytotoxicity or the burning action that we get putting nitrogen on the top of growing uh, corn that's caught on the leaves and causes a, a phytotoxicity or burning along the leaf edge. But research has shown and my experience is that uh, when you do that, that, uh, that uh, uh, burning or that phytotoxicity is transitional and does not hurt uh, uh, plant development or yield. And certainly in the end, uh, the benefit of side dressing that nitrogen or nitrogen and sulfur combination uh, outweighs the, uh, the visual uh, impact of that foliar phy phytotoxicity. And that foliar phytotoxicity is quite transitional. Uh, it lasts for two to three weeks and then uh, pretty much disappears as that corn uh, grows and develops. And you can see here it's returned to normal growth. Um, the uh, phytotoxicity on the edges here is gone. It's green edge to edge and uh, that's typical. It has grown out of that uh, period of uh, foliar phytotoxicity uh, shortly after application.
I think the application here was about V6 uh, stage of growth, and that was when it was a, a little higher than knee high, not waist high, but a little bit uh, higher than knee high. And that's typical after a uh, short period, a short number of days, the new leaves that emerge from the whirl are normal looking and green edge to edge.